You can call it a light at the end of the water main tunnel. The two-year-long water main project in Charlotte South End is finally nearing completion. The Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis breaks down what this means now for drivers. There are sounds we've all become accustomed to. Traffic and construction. It's also what many are sick of most. We love the phone calls we get of asking, how do we find you? The Vintage opened a year and a half ago and is owned by the same hospitality group as the Wine Loft. Both businesses have been trying to grow along South Boulevard, while Charlotte Water undertook a massive two-year water main project. As a brand trying to grow, unfortunately, you're starting to try to re recover immediately when they walk in the door super flustered that it took 15, 20 minutes longer just to find a parking space. From Scaly Bark to Worthington, crews have been replacing an old water main pipe with a new one twice its size. You gotta account for the amount of people that are coming into to Charlotte. While the project took place, traffic was reduced to one lane, causing cars to come to a halt and back up down South Boulevard. I worked uh, close by and I know that it was kind of tough uh, to drive. Uh, in this area, but again, it's improving. There's an end in sight though. Charlotte Water just announced they're entering the final phase of its $18.6 million project. In a month to a month and a half, it'll be complete. But some wonder in this growing city if they'll ever be able to drive without a detour. It may be a continuous cycle of new projects. You know, I'd like it to end at some point, but you know, it's also good for the city that is growing. That was Morgan Francis reporting for us tonight. Well, while this project comes to an end, there are other ones next in line. Stormwater Services expects to start a project shutting down parts of Tremont Avenue for eight weeks starting August the 1st.